Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. This is the start of building the engine mount. And we're going to start by grabbing this laser cut sheet from the parts bin. Um, it's 32537, and we want to take out four centering rings. We want these two right here, and then these two inner ones on the sheet here. And there's little tick marks that hold them into the sheet, and you can just snap those through with a hobby knife. All these little discs you don't need, so you can just set those aside. And also get out these little short rings, and we're going to glue each of these to the end. So we're going to glue one on each side of both of them. And for that, I'm just using some wood glue, and it doesn't take much. it around, trying to keep it off of the outside. Have some paper towels handy. The inside I don't care about, um, it's just the outside. Now if you want, you can put a fillet on the inside, that doesn't hurt. Um, the engine mount tube will go right through the middle of that, so we do want to keep these attached. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue them up and let them dry, and if you want, you can go ahead and put fillets on the inside too. On these tubes, I did go ahead and put a fillet inside, and I used a cotton swab to do that. Um, it makes it easy to get inside and to smear it around. And the advantage is it, it makes it nice and even so that it dries quicker. So I would recommend doing that. Um, our next step is to feel along the edges here. And anywhere where the, the ring overhangs the side of the tube, we have to sand that off because we want it nice and flat because these are where the fuel tank tubes get glued on. So we're feeling on the edges, and we're going to take some medium grit sandpaper, and this is like 220 grit, and we want to sand that off. But we don't want to sand away from the ring so that we're going to pop the ring off. We always want to sand towards the tube. So I'm looking for part of the ring that might be hanging over, and mine seems to be pretty good. So go ahead and do this for both of the, these tubes, and then we'll get ready in the next step to actually glue the engine mount together. <laughs> 